And we do continue to follow the quadruple homicides out of Kellogg this afternoon. We now know the name of three of the four people killed in Kellogg on Sunday evening. And the man accused of the murders had his first appearance in court this morning. Nicole Hernandez has been in court all morning long and has the breaking new details here at noon. Major John Allen Taylor had his first appearance at the Shoshone County Courthouse just two hours ago. Officers walked him from the Shoshone County Jail right next to me here across the street to the courthouse. Take a look at your screen. You can see video of deputies there escorting him into the courthouse. The proceedings lasted about 25 minutes. The judge read Taylor his rights, then the five counts he is charged with. That's one count of felony burglary and four counts of first degree murder. You did willfully, deliberately, and with malice of forethought, unlawfully kill the person of Kenneth R. Gardipi, a human being, to wit by shooting him, which resulted in his death, and which was premeditated and or to execute vengeance. That offense carries a potential death and or life imprisonment. Do you understand the charge and the potential maximum penalties for that count? Yes. From those charges, we learned who the four people killed were. Kenna and Kenneth Gardipi, Devin Smith, and someone the judge referred to as A.S. During bail arguments, the prosecution told the judge one of the victims was a child under 18 years old. The prosecution also went over Taylor's criminal history, which included several misdemeanors, and told the judge some of the probable cause in the case. Admissions were ultimately made to the offenses charged. In subsequent interviews by law enforcement, with those in or around the scene, identified both the motive, a method, and a witness to at least two of the four charged murders. The judge denied Taylor bail in this case and also set the preliminary hearing for 1.30 in the afternoon on July 3rd. There will also be a status conference at 8.30 that morning. In Wallace, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News.